Hello children. Good morning. Sai Ram. Welcome to Standard 4. Myself, Geeta Kannan. And I am your English teacher. So this video is going to be very interesting. Because it is a story of a lazy girl who is called the Queen Sleeper. So you all are ready to listen to the story children? Yes, we will read the story after some time. Before that, let us learn some new words. Children, you will have to repeat these words after me. Ready children? Let's start. P A N T pant W E E K L Y weekly G L A R E D glared S N double E R I N G L Y sneeringly B R I S K L Y briskly S N I C K E R E D snickered T H O U G H T F U L thoughtful S N U double G L E snuggle G R O A N E D groaned P R E C I S E L Y precisely G R O double G I L Y groggy Lee G R I double T I N G greeting R E S O U N D E D resounded I N D E E D indeed D E S P A I R despair T R E M B L I N G trembling so these are the new words children learn all these new words now let us move into frame the sentences number 1 Repeat the sentence after me. Whisper, that is speaking softly. Raju heard a strange whispering noise. I repeat children. Raju heard a strange whispering noise. Number two, glared. That is staring angrily. Nita and Sita stared at each other. Repeat children. Nita and Sita stared at each other. Good. Our next word is thoughtful. That is thinking about something. Sina looked at me with thoughtful expression. Sina looked at me with Thoughtful expression. A next word is warmly. That is friendliness. The two men greeted one another warmly. The two men greeted one another warmly. Number five. Snickered. That is unkind way. The other students snickered at Peter. The other students snickered at Peter. Stuffed means filling. Curran stuffed his clothes in the wardrobe. Curran stuffed his clothes in the wardrobe. So children, this is the end of the frame the sentences. 
now yes children are you getting bored mm i know you are getting bored so shall we sing a song and dance yes i have a song for you let me click in this and listen to the song and follow the steps children so are you ready yes start So children, did you enjoy the song? Did you dance? Very good. So what is the song about? It's about the clock. Yes. So what did you understand from the song children? We should do our work time to time. The clock never waits for anyone. good so by what time you should have your lunch children by 12 or by 1 so by what time you should wake up in the morning it's very important so by what time you will wake up by 6 7 yes by 6 or 7 o'clock is the right time to wake up in the morning so children how would your day be if you did not have a clock to tell you the time oh our life will be very miserable and all our work will be done late all very late so it's very important to follow the time so children in today's chapter let us see what gift did tina receive from her friend deepa in lesson number 2 the new alarm clock so let's move into the lesson children these are the first page of the lesson 
lesson number 2 the new alarm clock so children did you know who invented this alarm clock he was the first american who was who created this alarm clock and his name levi hutchins in 1787 he made this device only for himself and it only rang at 4 a.m that is 4 o'clock early in the morning in order to wake him for his job so do we use alarm clock yes we also use alarm clock to wake up in the morning and do our work so let us go into the lesson children now a whirlpool arrived with a oosh tina was late for class yet again her hair was flying in all directions her bag hung loosely with a huge pant she announced that she had missed the school bus. Not again, Tina, said Miss Sudipta, our English teacher. Sorry, ma'am, Tina said meekly. Class, open your grammar textbooks. Tina sat down with a huff. As a special treat, I took out a paper with a Sudoku puzzle I had copied from the Hindu and placed it on her textbook. She smiled gratefully. After all, what are friends for? Deepa glared at me. Nice friend, aren't you? She whispered sneeringly. She looked at Tina. When are you going to make it to school early? Tina didn't answer. She briskly filled numbers in rows and columns. You have an alarm clock, right? Deepa asked Tina. What's the use? And my dad and brother come into my room and yell too. So children, what was that girl name? Her name is Tina. And who was late to school? Tina was late to school. And why was Tina late? Because she didn't wake up in the morning. So who is Tina's teacher here children? What is her name? Her name is Miss Sudipta. She is an English teacher. Good. So what did she tell Tina? She asked, Why are you late to school? Yes. So we will move into the next page children. Hmm. She said in a matter of fact too. Miss Sudipta stared at us. Ajay, do you have any doubts in passive and active voice? She demanded. Oh, no, spare me. I said to myself. And Tina, why do you need to place your pencil vertically and horizontally to do your grammar? Tina hastily stuck the Sudoku into another page. I think I'll have to shift you three to the first bench, she said. Someone snickered. How shameful, I thought. Thankfully, a girl finished her exercise. Miss Sudipta took out her pen and got busy. That evening, we went to Tina's house. 
I have made some hot samosas. I'll bring them. Tina's mother said, smiling warmly. I hope nobody noticed me. Looking at the kitchen with a watering mouth, Deepa was thoughtful as we rode home. It's Tina's birthday on Thursday. How about an alarm clock as a gift? Oh, no. Tina already has one. I groaned. But she doesn't have a jigsaw alarm clock, does she? Deepa sent the next five minutes describing the clock. Mmm, pretty cool. Let's get it then. I said, we searched the shops in Amar Bazaar till we found what we were looking for. So children, what did Miss Sudipta ask Ajay? Whether he has understood, you are done with passive or active voice. Good. So what Tina was doing instead of a grammar verb, she was placing her pencil horizontally and vertically. Good. So what did Tina's mother bring for the children? Samosa. And whose mouth was watering? Deepa's mouth. So look at that picture. Deepa's mouth was watering. She wants to eat the samosa. Yes. And... What did Deepa was thinking? What gift want she wants to give her? She wants to give her a jigsaw alarm clock. Yes. And now children, let's go to the next page. An alarm clock? All I have to do is hit the snooze button. Tina laughed. This is no ordinary clock. Just set the time. Tomorrow, we'll see who comes to class first. I said, I could already see Tina's mother praising us for a clever idea. A clock to challenge the queen sleeper. Ha! Huh, Tina said, grinning. Children, we'll stop the lesson here. And let us revise. And what time did the alarm ring, children? Yes, we don't know. So that we will continue the lesson in the next video. Now, children, now let's revise what we read now. So, who was late to school? So, take your paper and Start writing the answer. Find out from the lesson. Number two, why was Tina late? Number three, who is Tina's English teacher? So you can, you can write the answers in short children. Number four, what excuse did Tina give her teacher for coming late? Number five, what did Miss Sudipta ask Ajay. Number six. What was Tina doing instead of her grammar work? Number seven. What did Deepa suggest as a birthday gift for Tina? What did she suggest? A jigsaw claw. Good. So in which bazaar did they search? In which bazaar, children? It is Amar Bazaar. Find out from the lesson if you don't know the answer. Number nine. Did the new alarm clock succeed in its purpose of making Tina reach school in time? Yes. Now we don't know the answer for this. Let us continue in the next video. Whether did... She reached the school in time. Now, who said to who?
Now children, let's see who said to who. Question number one. I have made hot samosas. Who said children? Tina's mother said to the children. Good. Number two. Tomorrow we'll see who comes to class first. Deepa said to Tina. Now last we have an activity. It's an activity time children. Find a homophone for each word given below. We have the same pronunciation with different meaning. So example the first one is done for you. Number one pale pale number two flower so find out a word with the same pronunciation but different spellings new and number four hair number five not number six blue number seven bear number eight stare Number 9, Tide. 10, Cells. 11, Way. Number 12, Buy. 13, Here. 14, Her. 15, No. 16, Where. So find out the words and fill the answers children and submit in the online. And we'll see you in the next video with the rest of the lesson. Bye children. Thank you.